Shalom. First and foremost, I want to begin by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Double honors to my teachers, the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Much respect to you, brothers, laboring worldwide in truth and sincerity. Salutations and blessings to the hope for it. Believing on the words of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. And all the things that the Lord has said are coming to pass. All right. And the Lord has sent out men to warn you, you know, of the oncoming, impending danger. All right. Uh, he set up watchmen. As a matter of fact, let's get that real quick. And the watchmen are to blow the trumpet and give you warning. Right? This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 62 and verse 6. I have set watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem, which shall never hold their peace, day nor night. Ye that make mention of the Lord, keep not silent. And that's where we at. We're not keeping silent. The men of the Lord, all right, uh, uh, are bringing out certain articles, you know, certain videos to show you where we at with these tokens basically these signs right again the lord has sent the watchman out to give warning let's get that let's go to the book of jeremiah real quick jeremiah chapter six and verse ten to whom shall i speak and give warning see yahweh shah has been Blowing the trumpet, all right, starting with our apostles and elders on down, all right, brothers and like mine, and been giving you warning. To whom shall I speak and give warning that they may hear? Behold, their ear is uncircumcised. They cannot hearken. Behold, the word of the Lord is unto them a reproach, and they, excuse me, they have no delight in it. Yeah, two-thirds have no delight in the words of Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shah. The ones who we are speaking to, all right, is the elect. Matter of fact, let's prove that. That's who the that's who the the, the alarm is being sounded for. This is the book of Joel, chapter two, and verse one. See the terrible visitation. Yeah, you how about shot is coming to seduce some nasty man. Okay, this is Joel two and one. Blow ye the trumpet in Zion. Yeah, the remembrance, the monument. Okay. It says, and sound and alone in my holy mountain. See, those are the ones who have ears to hear and eyes to see. Okay. When these certain videos go out, all right, and, and the prophecies are, are being laid out in front of you. It says, let all the inhabitants of the land tremble for the day of the Lord cometh. For it is not at hand. And all these prophecies that's coming to pass show us that the day of the Lord is not at hand. Let's go to the book of 2nd Ezra. 2nd Ezra, chapter 9, verse 1. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest part of the signs pass, see, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, then shalt thou well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. See, all these things are playing out okay and, and showing forth let's go to the book of Matthew chapter 24 and verse 3 and as he sat upon the Mount of Olives the disciples came unto him privately saying tell us when shall these things be and what shall be the sign of thy coming and the end of the world yet this current age this current rulership, right? And Yahweh shall answer and said unto them, 
Take heed that no man deceive you, for many shall come in my name, saying that I am Hamashiach, and shall deceive many. And ye shall hear of wars, and rumors of wars, see that she be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass. But the end is not yet. And we're in the midst of these signs, these tokens, all right, being shown forth. It says, for a nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrow, see? It's just the beginning, all right? This is Luke chapter 21 and verse 25 see the return of Hamashiach return of, of the anointed right and there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and upon earth distress of nations see with perplexity the sea and the waves roaring I want to get a couple articles, all right, dealing with prophecy coming to pass, dealing with what Yahweh Bashiach said to look for, all right. It's, this is from NPR.org. First came a quake in Mexico, then strange blue lights. People feared the apocalypse, see? This is the return of Yahweh Bashar Shah. What are those strange blue lights? Those are like chariots. Signs in the sun and in the moon. Okay. And upon earth. You know, distress of nations. See? This is uh, Reuters.com. All right. There shall be wars and rumors of wars. North Korea tests. First trust. Trist, uh, Strategic cruise missile with possible nuclear capability. Why is that there? All right, because the Lord is is gathering these nations to war against the whore, America, Babylon, the Great. All the prophecies are being lined up beautifully. Wars and rumors of wars. Okay. All right. This is from FirstPost.com. And it says, massive solar storm could cause global internet blackout for months. Re finds new research, see? These certain blackout signs in the sun, all right, signs in the moon. Guess what? The words of Yahweh Bashar Shah stand true, all right? It says, only three large storms have been recorded to date with the most recent one in 2014, see? So these things are rare. All right, to be recorded. But that's the Lord giving us warning. All right, this certain swarm of activity, this guy knowing he has but a short time. All right, the Lord has get this, got this devil in derision also. All right, he's, he can't get his he can't get his uh, enterprise off without it being some type of uh, issue. Right. So this is uh, wktv.com. No babies. Lewis County. General Hospital is stopped delivering babies due to staffing and their whole uh, ward, all right, uh, just the, the delivery ward. Let's read a little bit. Officials at Lewis County General Hospital in Lowville, and that's a crazy name, Lowville, <laughs> have announced they will stop delivering babies temporarily at the end of the month due to staffing shortages. Officials say it's due to employee resignations over the required, over the requirement to be Vanessa against the C-19, see? Well, this devil is not, you know, gonna be able to, to crown his enterprise success. The Lord has this devil in derision, right? And what did I want? Uh, yep, let's go to the book of Acts. And that's what we're seeing. We're seeing prophecy 
these tokens being shown and, and it's beautiful all right for those who have eyes to see all right that that alarm has been sounded in the holy mountain okay and, and only the the believers all right are going to come to the knowledge to repent all right and turn from the wickedness why so they might be saved okay this is acts chapter 2 and verse 17 and it shall come to pass in the last days say of the most high i will pour out my spirit upon all flesh yeah the lord is pouring out his spirit all right he the knowledge of the, of the lord is covering the earth as the waves cover the sea and i'm paraphrasing okay what is that in uh habaku it says and it shall come to pass in the last day said the most high i will pour out my spirit upon all flesh your sons and your daughters shall prophesy your young men shall see visions and your old men shall dream dreams now we often have to touch on this when they say your daughter shall prophesy they ain't mean you out there holding posts all right bring it out no okay as if you you're you're having a dream and you tell that dream to your husband all right who's in this faith or a man of the lord and then it's interpreted okay there, there's there's women that's not their their lot to, to prophesy out on the highways and byways okay verse 18 and on my servants and on my handmaids will i pour out in those days of my spirit and they shall prophesy and i will show wonders see in heaven above and signs in the earth beneath blood and fire and vapor of smoke that's something i didn't even include spain is on fire right now california is still on fire right now they had to evacuate the highway in california because that i think is the Coderon fire jumped across the freeway man all right those uh certain uh, apocalypse looking uh movies that's what it was like and this is what the lord is showing it says again acts 2 and 19 and i will show wonders in heaven above and signs in the earth beneath blood and fire and vapor of smoke the sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before the great and notable day of the lord come see and we see in those certain signs those certain tokens all right that the lord is showing he's approaching he's coming near that's why it behooves you okay to to stay the course all right to stay steadfast in your how about shower shy me included talking to myself first right let's close it out here this is the book of romans chapter 13 and verse 11 it reads and that knowing the time that now it is high time to awake out of sleep for now is our salvation nearer than when we believe see the night is far spent the day is at hand let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light yet yeah, it's true all right the shining clearer and clearer to the to the coming of the day of your how about shower shy that's gonna be it for the lesson lord willing has been edifying i want to give all praise honor and glory to yahweh bahashim yahweh shy bahashim rakakwadash double honors to my teachers the apostles of elders great millstone lord willing coming at you with another lesson till the next time i say shalom